shoot, I just realized our microphone is pointing at the ground. Oh, I gotta pull up. That's a wonderful start to this stream. Oh, I, I'm, I'm waiting for Andrew to now fix it. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, you gotta pull it back. Pull the entire microphone backwards towards you. I see what you're saying. It, yeah, it's always something. Okay. Hey, there we go. So I was here early, and I did a lot of things. Uh, I have the case nice and prepped for this wonderful build. I set up some new filters and things to that effect, and I screwed up the audio. Forgot the audio. So, let's start over. Welcome, everybody, to Monday afternoon, turning to dusk, live stream of Hephaestus. Hephaestus. I even said it like we seven times we before practiced. the build. There we go. This is... Our Monday, like I said, our Monday afternoon live stream. <laughs> I'm, I'm stalling, waiting for Chris to give me the thumbs up. Oh, okay. See, I was like stalling, didn't want to get into like the whole specs, and Chris is just over here laughing his butt off. So anyway, this is a wonderful computer design. I am so, so lost right now. All right, I'll start. I'm just going to send it to Andrew to All send right. the specs. Yeah, we should probably do that. <laughs> Oh, so, Hephaestus is a workstation designed for VFX, animation, and graphic design. So, prim primarily being used for Maya, Houdini, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, Photoshop, and ZBrush. Uh, so, it's designed around the Ryzen 9 3900X. That's our 12 core, 24 thread chip. Uh, I think it boosts up to like 4.1 gigahertz, so lots of performance there. It's being cooled by Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4 that Connor also has on his side tonight. I hope Chris is on split yet. Yeah. Uh, we'll find out. Maybe. I don't know. No, we really not. Nope. Okay. It's going to keep on rolling. We'll be putting split both of those on a MSI X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. Um, even though this is a gaming board and this is a workstation, it has a great power delivery and reliability that you need for these applications. For our memory, we'll be slotting in two sticks of 32 gigabyte 3600 DDR4 okay. G-Skill Rift Jaws 5. So that is very high capacity of memory in two sticks, and that leaves room for upgrades later. So you can go to 128 gigs very easily, which uh, which can be nice. For storage, we have two NVMe drives, a 512 gigabyte, uh, probably for OS and key applications. We have a one terabyte that can be used as a scratch disk, uh, cache, and all that sort of stuff, active projects. And then we also, I have this one, a two terabyte Western Digital Black, uh, and that will be used for more mass storage, archival, or things that you just don't need to access at all. Also going into motherboard, we have a Quadro RTX 4000. So this is based on the same GPU as the 2060 and 2070 Super, except it is that Quadro brand, so it's been validated for these applications. <laughs> Comes me this up tower over there. Um, so that's coming in again with that rock solid reliability and uh, full driver support. Let's see. And all that is being powered by Corsair RMX 850 oh, watt. I don't, I don't. Oh, you have that? I was like, wait a second. What? Andrew Oh, man. Andrew Katie's here. <laughs> Remember when I told you about that run I went on? <laughs> um, <laughs> the light jog. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this Corsair RMX 850 watt. So, plenty of reliable, clean power for all these components. And that is 80 plus gold, I believe, for that efficiency. All this is being installed it's in the middle, so I can't really pull it up. Fantex Enthu Pro M Tempered Glass Edition. A very clean case. It's got that workstation kind of professional look to it, and it can still cool all, all our components great, especially with its six Fantex fans that will be installing in it for, hmm? for added cooling and silence. All right. And then, did you, did you talk about the fans? I talked about the fans, yeah. Okay. The Fantex. Yep, installed. so we yep. went and replaced the fans. So this is a perfect lead-in to my wonderful Mount Olympus. <laughs> is oh, the goal here. Why, why None of the you... hardware is in here, by the way, to completely preface this. Connor, why did you build Mount Olympus? Well, the name of this computer spawns from a Greek mythology. Uh, I will let you all look it up because I am... You're scared to say it again. No, I honestly forgot, yes. Hephaestus. Number one, I am scared to say it, but I also forgot what the actual thing is. So, Hephaestus uh, was Google the Greek it. god of blacksmiths, metalworking, carpenters, craftsmen, artisans, etc. 
So yeah, there you some, go. Uh, some nice reading online if you want to find out about the name. But uh, yeah, let's get started building. So Connor already did some of his yep. prep. Yep, so in this motherboard, uh, it came pre-installed with wonderful M.2s. No, just kidding. Uh, I took this off before stream, uh, undid all the screws, dropped in our M.2s, our one terabytes up here in the main, cooled by the uh, heat spreader. Yes, not a sink. Not a sink. And the other one, the other 512 is right down here. <clears throat> I have also already pre-installed our Dark Rock 4 mounting brackets as well. Have left the wonderful peels for everyone to enjoy. And like Andrew said, we're going to be throwing in a Ryzen 9. Yes, this is a 9. Yes. <laughs> I looked at the, the part number and it said 23 box. And I was like, wait, Ryzen doesn't produce a 23 box. Oh, I was hoping we got 23 of them. <laughs> That would be uh, a nervous chuckle. So this is a Ryzen 9 3900X. Also, I do want to go ahead and apologize for the amount of dust and drywall dust. They did a lot more drywall work since we've been here. Yep. I attempted to get the bulk of it off, but there may be a little sheen of dust on some components and things. I'm still saying they're cutting all the fire, all the drywall that they need in the whole town here. Yeah. There's right. no way they use that much drywall. I know. No, you should have seen it when I came in today. Like, was they, it even worse? Oh, it's even worse. Is you can look down on the there? floor where the cables were, and if you move oh, the cable, you yeah. can perfectly see where the cable was. We're going to have to get some, like, HEPA air filters in here. <laughs> Honestly, it redyed our carpet and made it white. <laughs> I don't know if that was like a, you're clearing your throat or no, it was like a get back on track. Uh -uh. <laughs> just clearing your throat. Not too much to talk right now as we're unboxing. But. Yeah. Basically just unboxing and I am slotting, I just slotted in our processor and now I'm tossing in our G scale RAM. I'm just hooking cables up to our power supply so those will be all ready. Uh, do not forget we need at least three State of power. Yeah, I'm thinking we can run one harness because they're all by that drive bay. Yeah, I can so, I can dump them. They usually the, have uh, four SATAs, so we'll see. Really? Yeah. I think. Well, I'll double check. Yeah, it's got four SATAs on it. All right, and then I'm going to do something different this time. Oh no. Because last time it was absolutely atrocious. I am going to go ahead and install the cooler, and we're just going to pre-run the power cables, and then. That's the only thing that needs to be plugged in up here because last time we did this case, <laughs> I basically put my hand like through a shredder yeah, yeah. just full of cats that are very angry and porcupines. <laughs> and to help with that. Huh? Oh no, I'm running the EPS through the case board. He goes forward and. Yep, exactly. Yeah, but, uh, all right. You'll see. You got hey, Chris, be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> It's the name of the brand. Right. No, no, we have good. a plan. Put the fans on too this time before we put it in. Yeah, okay. that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, I can't put the fan on in the middle, but I'm going to put it on yeah. before I toss it in there. One day we're going to get efficient at this. But... Yeah. I mean, when you build enough computers in the same case week after week, hopefully well, you would learn. If you learn one thing a week, within like a year, you should be able to Yeah, do exactly. It. And then, then I'll be out of business. Yeah, because our live streams all take two hours instead of one. <laughs> We are trying to hit our one hour live stream yeah, if mark. If we do the we free it. stream, we, we, we would be like an hour and five. True. I also went through and made some wonderful subscribe animations that Chris is going to play for you now. <laughs> also, Because I know he's going to forget to. <laughs> I already did it once. Oh, did you? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We're in picture in picture. Oh, oh. we're in modern. My feed shows us. And mm. I'm unboxing our beautiful Quadro RTX 4000. Mm. Wait, you're over there then. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Well, was. Was. Point towards the power supply box on the ground. That's where I am. So I mentioned a little bit on the intro, but the Quadro cards are validated by NVIDIA to be compatible with all the applications that they might be used for. So things like Maya, Houdini, uh, Adobe Suite, SolidWorks, all that good stuff. So that, and they also have their own special drivers from NVIDIA. And what you'll see is these drivers get updated a lot less often, but they're pretty much guaranteed to be a lot more stable because so, they don't have to worry about new video games coming out needing support. So Andrew is not going to use the, uh, the, the, the GeForce driver? No, Andrew will be using the 
Quadro Studio Driver, it's called, I believe. Quadro Studio. I'm glad you reminded me of that, because I probably would have done it by instinct. <laughs> but yes, it, it will work on those drivers, but they don't have that guaranteed uh, reliability. So, it's important to note. Quadros are absolutely wonderful. Uh, you put the ramp in first, right? Yes, he did. No. We're going to take it out now. Oh, just, we're getting another screwdriver. Yeah, we got another screwdriver. Heck yeah. For anyone who might be new watching, we have uh, at least a dozen of them. In I'm home. telling you, Chris, our background for when we move needs to just be made up of our logo, made up of Be Quiet screwdrivers. I think we'll have to get branding permission from them. Ah! Oh, I have to. Are you kidding me, Be Quiet? It, oh, we no, we can do it. it. We gotta do something. It's, like it's kind of just been the running meme as of this point. I thought Baconator was the running meme. Okay, no, that just knows, that's just an internal okay. meme. It's, it's, it's an inside joke. Alright, well, I'm not letting go of it, so. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Everybody gets the Baconator. Everybody in the business gets the Baconator. We get the 500 subs in two weeks. I thought you were gonna say tonight. <laughs> tonight. So I'd have to contact my sketchy friend. For tonight, yeah. Do it, do it in the next 45 minutes. I'm good. <laughs> hey, Frank. Okay, so, I don't really know why I'm boxing. Billy Bob. <laughs> Billy Bob. I'm so. going fan side up just to trigger Chris. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, wall. There's reasons for it. There's there actually are. a thought out reason. There are actually, I, I, I do know the reason. Yep. I installed, I know you um, when I have like low um, It depends on the flow, case. I will use it as an exhaust fan. Yeah, it depends on the case and it depends also where you're putting it. Yep. So if you put... what the debate is going on, oh, not yeah, really debate, is Andrew has made a decision and <laughs> we're now going with it. Yep. Uh, so the power supply actually has a fan built into it. Um, well, many power supplies do. I think all of them. Uh, Seasonic makes a few fanless, but yeah, for the most part though. Yeah, they have a fan in it. And you can actually flip it so it's fan sides down, so it basically pulls in air from the, the bottom of the case, so it then just exhausts it directly out the back of it. Uh, this is useful in some cases when you're just trying to create different thermal zones, or uh, actually, I don't know really. That, that's that's about it. You're not imparting heat you're into just, the case. Yeah, it's just being isolating. Yeah, it's just isolating. Heat. Or you can flip it upside down where the fan pulls air from inside of the computer and exhausts that out. Which, Theoretically, that would heat up your power supply more because you're you're imparting hotter air into it. Uh, but it's basically negligible. It's basically negligible. Especially Actually, it is negligible, but... Especially since this Corsair unit, along with most high-end power supplies now, um, don't even run their fan until they're at, like... 70% capacity or 80? 100%? 40. Oh, 40? Are you sure? Really? I feel like it's higher than that. But, I mean, Seasonic has a few thousand watts that have no fan at all. Yeah. So, do they only give me two power supplies? No, they're in the bottom. I was like, did you give me two power supply screws? That would have been mean. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I still don't see the right one. All right, so I now have there we go. the big honk and chonk and be quiet's uh, cooler. Dark Rock, Pro Dark Rock 4 Pro installed on our Ryzen 9 3900X, which is installed inside of our MSI X570 motherboard. And on that motherboard, we have two sticks of RAM and two M.2s. I forgot the RAM speeds. The M.2s is a one terabyte and a 512 gig. The RAM is G Skills Ripjaws 5 DDR4 3600 2x32 gig. There you go. And room for upgradeability. That was, a, that was you, pulling the fan off would be a little interesting. That was a lot. Yep. Yeah. And and Ryzen actually takes advantage of it. Yeah. It's generally the consensus among the uh, reviewers and testers is that 3200 is kind of a sweet spot for pressure performance, and beyond that, you won't see too much benefit. No, it's very, uh, very, very negligible. But it but depends on your application. Yeah, if you're using a APU, which is the integrated graphics on a Ryzen G processor, yep, um, those 
heavily, heavily rely on the speed of your RAM as what is a cache, basically. I mean, it's basically using his graphics memory. Yeah, it's basically using his graphics memory, so the faster that is, the better performance you can get out of it. Yeah. Uh, but mind you, in a case like this, it, it's basically negligible. Maybe like, what, 1%, 2%, Not if that. Do you want to use this or this for EPS? Uh, do the Rubber. far, yeah, no, do the, yep, that one. Okay. I'm just pre-running them for you because I'm a nice guy like that. Appreciate it. Also, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, we are still in the weird 2020 oh. world. <laughs> we don't have Wi-Fi. What well, do you mean we don't have Wi-Fi? We, we didn't we plug it into the LAN. We're not using the oh, well, oh gosh. well, too late now. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Yeah. yeah, don't do don't that. Um, <laughs> it's the wonderful world of 2020. So that's why we still have this set up here. I am on this side of the table. Andrew is on that side of the table. Uh, it is about eight-ish, and the, this table is massive. It's like a 15-ish foot boy. table. Yeah. Uh, so I'm over here on my corner. Andrew is over there on his corner. If you notice, we haven't really been passing things back and forth. The things that we do pass back and forth are going to be basically just the case. And like Andrew just did, is he dropped that right in the middle. And I'm going to now grab it. Do you need any of these screws? Yeah, I need the motherboard screws. Okay, hopefully I can tell which one is ours. So it change. <laughs> All right, this one is going to be interesting. I think that's it. Let's see. Be quite too dark. Or is it the really fine threaded ones? I, can I don't know. It. Let me, I'll try this one and then. Uh, I think it's these other ones. Andrew's on candy camera. I'm, on, I'm counting the screws on candy camera. I mean, these do work. Oh. Is our color correction that. Who has an orange shirt? Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, that'd be good. Oh, yeah, this, the color correction. Oh, this. yeah, my, my cam is very different than yours. Yeah, normally we don't do the side by side. <laughs> yeah, that's probably why. Yeah. What conditioner do you hey, use? Connor, on? she likes your hair. What conditioner do you use? Uh, whatever his girlfriend buys. Whatever says men when I walk down the ship in my house. It's probably some sort of. Oh, uh, you want this guy to use this like the three-in-one body wash conditioner no, God, and shampoo? No, God, no! I am uh, no. Oh man, those are people that don't have class. But, yeah, <laughs> you see a lot of that, especially like college dorm stuff. Oh like, God, yeah, that is. So, those are the need... same people that wear Axe. True. Well, I think Axe makes it. It's like <laughs> I only need this one bottle. It covers it covers everything. I hope those are right screws. Cause I'm putting all these back now. So. Yeah, we'll see. If not, we'll just double side tape it in the case. Hmm. I was hoping to elicit response from hmm. Chris. But... Oh man. Okay, there we go. You're making Minecraft villager noises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's those are that's usually not going out. Can no we get a soundboard? We could can, get a soundboard. Like a like a Stream Deck soundboard that we, Yeah, you can actually build it into the uh Stream Deck. Oh yeah. Of, we need to start we need one that like sixteen button Stream Decks, Chris. They're like two fifty. Uh, I think it's Wii man. What? Oh it's Wii. Yeah. We, 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 we are a team. We are a team. And I am, we are struggling <laughs> on this computer. All aboard the struggle bus, Population Connor. Oh, really? <laughs> this motherboard, like, just fits in this case. I'm just, like, cleaning my station. It's still on me. We didn't even turn on our actual monitor. Right, I'm just watching the morning. I realized this, but I didn't install the giant be quiet on it last time. Oh, you got clearance, right? No. What? Is it not gonna fit? No, it fits. Okay, you're fine. I just, uh, I can't get the stupid cables out from underneath it. Oh. Uh, because they're actually blocking it. I can't help you, I'm sorry. No, you can't. It's okay. I will struggle myself. But this defeats the purpose of, uh, my plan of <laughs> plugging in the... It reminds me of doing group projects in college. I got struggle by myself. Ha 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 ha. School <laughs> jokes. I'm not gonna name any names. So I, I put it um, in Andrew Big, Connor Small. Yeah. And the iMac is funny. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that is pretty funny. Ah, uh, that's why it's not. Funny. I think it's my my color looks like it's like dusky or something on my camera. Yours is realistic. The shirt's not. Yours is very Yours realistic. Is Mine is not. Yours is oversaturated. You think? Yes. So this is actually a webcam that we're using for this one. He was our top cam. We used it as a webcam because we need to basically suspend it above yeah. us. But now we're not suspending it above us. 
Yeah. Now there is no us in the COVID era. Yes. Yeah, I'm just chilling. Hey, I'm on the struggle bus. Yeah. I mean, I'm just. I'm yeah, really yeah. chilling. I am very much on the struggle. Oh, bus. this has a five and a quarter inch bay. In case you have any antiquated technology you want to install. All right, I'm taking this out. This, the top bracket on this mm, one, yeah. actually removes easy. Yeah. I well, think it's, like it's just. No, I was saying, like, you remember how it, like, didn't slide out on the last case? Yeah. This one slides out actually relatively easy. Is it just manufacturing tolerances? Yeah. Because that one was, like, scraping off. I know, that one was rough. Was terrible. No, this one was actually, uh, when I took it out earlier, it was one pull. And You're expecting to fight it? it? Yeah. Nope. Putting it back in, though, I I'm literally sure thought I sliced a cable. Oh. <laughs> this was just, it was just catching, catching the boom. That'd be, uh, awkward. All right, fans. Oh yeah, like look at that. Oh yeah, <laughs> so much better. Now I was fighting that thing for like 15 minutes last time. Yeah, that one was rough. Hey, now I actually have space in this stupid case. I don't like this case, Chris. Oh. <laughs> I don't like this motherboard, Chris. <laughs> Tough noodles. <laughs> we like to complain to Chris, and he likes to ignore us. Yeah, we like to complain to Chris, but Chris doesn't do anything about it. Yeah. Okay, that's not that's. That's hey, kind of a lie. Hey, he Tyler, did. This is true. Your, your mom is on Facebook. Oh. Really? Hey, Smooth. Yeah, that is my mom. <laughs> Ironically, she's using my dad's Facebook account. Oh, jeez. Well, she can't actually have one. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, that's not a total, that's not a total truth, because you did upgrade to 3200 megahertz of RAM across the board. This is true. After I told him that you did better. This is true. Also, I lied to you. Oh. About uh, putting the grommets through the grommet or through the hole. What? With a EPS. Oh, you didn't want to use that one after all? Do what? You didn't want to use that one after all? No, I need to put it through the grommet. Well, I tried. Could be the dad guy. <laughs> Isn't it great that now you don't really have to worry about installing the IO shield on these high-end boards? Yeah. <laughs> That's honestly it's, like one of the s probably scariest parts for new builders is just like, yeah, push it in until the case so, like snaps. Yeah, like that, they don't always snap on all four corners for one, if it's a cheap one. Two, it like it's usually sharp metal that will cut your fingers. Mm -hmm. Three, you will forget to do it at least once in your life. 100%. So these, these higher end boards now just have it built into the I.O. because. I don't know it cost them two cents more. I don't know do. why we didn't do that in the first place, right. really, but whatever. Have you ever run a system at home without one, like permanently? Uh, yes. Same. Yeah, I, I have to I because mean, you it, didn't provide me one. They didn't provide me one. That box was sealed when I sold it to you. That's <laughs> Actually, fair. was it? I don't remember. I think it was. I'm just looking at the quadro. I'm like seriously struggling trying to get this EPS in. I thought we made it easy. I know. I thought I made it easy. I didn't. I made it harder. Should we even plug it in before putting the board in, you think? Is there even enough? There's not enough slack. Yeah, that's the issue. There really wasn't much. So, what we did last time, we probably what we should have done now? Mm, yeah. You think? Yeah. Well, then, because I could pull this up and kind of shove it, uh, put it up here. You want to take the, the cooler off? No, because I don't want to reapply thermal paste. We, we, we you wouldn't have it. to. You wouldn't have to reply just for one mountain dismount. Oh, stretch my legs a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Let's see, we're at 630, so I'll go ahead and reset for those of you who might be just joining us. This is Hephaestus. This is a workstation build aimed around animation, VFX, and graphic design. Uh, space around 3900x and a no. huh? <laughs> no, I'm just oh, struggling. You're just space around the Ryzen 9 3900x and this Quadro RTX 4000, amongst other great components we have here. And uh, Connor's working on plugging in some power cables right now, and he's struggling. For, for those of you oh, who haven't done oh, this, yes, okay, I got one. It's just very hard to fit your hands in there to get those cables in sometimes. Especially, luckily, I mean, Be Quiet has gotten better about it. Nocto is terrible. Mm. They, they have super sharp fins. Yeah. It's better for thermal conductivity. 
Yeah. That's what they say. Is it really? No, I'm making it up. No, I was about to say. It's like, <laughs> wow, that. I mean, it would be something not to It would surprise say. me, yeah. You're up. That's the snap. I guess one other. Uh, what does that mean? What does a snap mean? Thanos? It's just quiet. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what? Yes! I was about to talk about one other feature of the quadro we didn't mention, which that is which is that which is that it has a high amount of yeah, graphics I mean, yeah. memory on board versus like geforce cars um i, I want to say it's hbm2 but that might be a lie so i'm not gonna say I that i think it is hbm2 might be gdr6 chris <laughs> can you confirm andrew your hands are more tiny <laughs> is that a compliment or not i can't tell i don't know well she's teasing me either way but it's good it's in we're good it's in it's in it's in you heard it here for those first folks it's in um but yeah it's got lots of that high speed memory on board to accelerate uh these graphics. applications usually load a lot of things into graphics memory so the faster you can put that stuff in and out faster your render goes faster you get to go home so it's nice this is true yep or the more money you can make in a day that's yep that's also true because that's, that's a big thing you have to think about when you're buying the graphics workstation right there's an opportunity cost somewhere of if I spend this amount of money and all my projects go X amount percent faster, I will make more money in that time saved versus what I'm spending on the computer. Well, so, well one of the really interesting thing that I heard was a good investment is if you can get an ROI back in two years. Are you sure that wasn't Bitcoin mining? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, I am sure saying. Yeah, yeah. I was in one of the like those random like gen ed classes that I took of like small business work. Was that for computers specifically? No, it was just in general. Oh, okay. It was just like, oh yeah, so a like general good rule of thumb is that you, you can... Okay. Well, regardless, it also makes your job less frustrating. Yes, it does. Like, if your Premiere's crashing and you're like losing progress and the renders take hours and hours during your day, like, that's just frustrating. So, sure. take it from Connor and I. When you have computers that are going faster while at work and network faster and everything, it's a lot, a lot better. Keeps you in a better mood. It, oh, it absolutely does. <laughs> One of my coworkers worked on something for five days, and then I went to turn it in on the fifth day, and it wasn't there. Everything I think was you gone. Told me about that. Yep. All the temp saves, everything was you gone. To it. Yeah, and that was in a application that makes backup files as you go. Yep. To try to prevent that. <laughs> to prevent that. But uh, it doesn't always work. Yeah, yeah, that was a little bit of an uh oh moment. So that's why overnight redundant automated copies is a good idea. As their rate arrays, although that will really help with file integrity. There we go. All right. Motherboard is in. Ignore the two screws that fell because I dropped two screws. I'll get them. Are they motherboard screws? Oh, God. What? It's the tolerance thing on the dumb yeah, case, it Chris. it is really tight. <laughs> Look, I know it sounds bad, but it's fine. They didn't exactly make it with paired calipers in hand. No, I, I honestly don't think they did. It looks like the front is, is lying down. Is, is that just... It didn't slot into the dumb... Oh, that's why it was so... No, Chris, that's that's the new that's the new hip it's thing. The new aesthetic. The new aesthetic. It's angles, you know? Get me in my good angles. <laughs> you, don't, you mean you don't want to ship this to Michigan with the... Uh, sideways? It's not sideways. It's yeah, just slanted. Just, yeah. Say the shipping did it. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We would never do that. We're not terrible people. No. By the way, this is going to Michigan. If, yep. I guess we never actually talked about that. Well, yeah. I mean, there we go. It's not too relevant to computers. No. <laughs> but hey, we ship. Even though we. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, we do have the ability to we ship. We do have the ability to ship. I ship quite a lot. Contact. A lot of our clients are not in state. I know. I, I as of your recent Facebook post, we had the majority of our traffic is actually in California. California. Yeah, like the furthest place away possible in the U.S. And if well, you have not seen that Facebook post, you can check us out check on us. Facebook <laughs> at Top Flight Computers for Top Flight. See, some things are Top Flight PC, some are Top Flight Computers. I'll get it one day. You can actually Google both, and they'll both. Yeah, I know the website is topflightpc.com. So just just try both. <laughs> Yeah, but if you search top flight PC or PCs on YouTube, it does not take you to us. It takes you to like a bunch of jet planes. 
<laughs> it does I, it actually. Yes, because I tried it. And I was like, oh wait, it's top flight computers. He's doing it. Yeah, he's doing it. Wrong. Nope, it's because you're... Dude, my website, the Google page, the Facebook... Page. Incognito does not help you when you're on the same IP you always use. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just Oh. <laughs> Google knows you. Wait, did you do that on Google or YouTube? I did it on Chrome. Do it in YouTube search. Well, why would you want to do it in YouTube search? If you're trying to find a YouTube channel. We don't need no sticking YouTube channel. Even though that's what probably everyone's on. Yes. Yep. So, so the fifth result, fifth fifth result. Channel, the, the fourth result is actually this video. You must be very desperate if you go four results down on YouTube. Can't imagine. It's like going to the second page of Google. Yeah, you don't go to the second page of Google. No. Nope. All... And then the, the, the sixth and seventh is, is Dingo and Eureka. Eureka. Once you get to the second G on Google search results, like you really hit rock bottom. You're not getting any. You're not getting what you look for at that point. You need a bunch of like dead internet links from like XML pages. From also, some, some of you stuff. guys may be extraordinarily confused. We are <laughs> dual streaming to Facebook and YouTube. Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Yeah. Doing fairly well. Uh, doing actually pretty, pretty decent. But if you're on Facebook and you were responding to comments on YouTube and you're getting very confused on where those comments are coming from, that is why. Yep, and if you're talking on Facebook, Connor and I cannot see you. So yeah. just wait until I, until I add going on Twitch. Yep, and then Twitch soon. Can we get a 3900X computer for this, uh, this desk computer for viewing chat? <laughs> <laughs> no? He's trying to look at me through the monitors. Oh, I am. <laughs> we couldn't even get a 3200G, I don't think. It's got integrated graphics, bro. Or uh, graphics, Vega graphics built in. G graphics. Just get a 1070 over there. <laughs> Where is that? It's sitting over there. I don't know. Where? Don't it's know. over on. Um, it, no, it's over on the shelf. Over, over the okay. wire shelf. Behind the giant banner. It's not ours. Okay. Behind the giant banner that is not ours. Which is also covered in drywall dust, just like everything here. Yes. One hundred percent. I'm now just plugging in cables. <laughs> I'm no still one. just chilling like I have been for like 20 minutes. <laughs> it's okay, I'll sell the GPU actually. Oh boy. You found it? Oh. it you want some canned air? Oh. Or like a mineral oil bath? We need like a... That's what a mineral oil bath. A jet plane exhaust. Although oh, mineral oil will never come off it. True, mineral oil would not. It'll be, you'll drip it for like weeks and then you'll pick it up and it's all sticky still. It's not that Mineral bad. oil is, is actually, for the fun fact of those of you who do not know, right. you can run a computer sub completely submerged under liquid, assuming that liquid is mineral oil, uh, well, is the most popular, I should theoretically say. Theoretically, any non-conductive fluid. Yep. Well, well, mineral no. oil, though, is used in transformers on the sides of roads. Yeah. That's where their original purpose is. The giant uh, cans and things on power lines. They are completely soaked from, I don't know, like what, probably 30 or 40 gallons of mineral oh, oil? Yeah. Also, fun fact, you could run a PC under distilled water just for a very short amount of time. Yeah. Because uh, the water would very quickly pick, on, uh, pick up ions from metal components in your system and then become ionized and then is electric conductive and your PC and then releases it the magic blue smoke underwater. The magic blue smoke. <laughs> That's what it's called. Underwater. Yeah. So, yeah. It is very And cool. if you ask Linus, he will tell you a mineral OPC is so much fun to maintain. Everyone should have one. <laughs> that's why we're building one here next week now. I've got the aquarium in the back. <laughs> <laughs> that's why the next build is going to be. Yeah. You do kind of have to be a little careful what you put on there. Certain kinds of rubbers, uh, stickers, different things. But... It'll, there's a lot of rubber, like a soft rubber, it'll just straight up eat it. You can't have any like grommets or anything. Really? Yeah. That's it'll a, it'll just I dissolve it, and then it's like a floating gunk in your mineral oil. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Didn't drop it. So it looks like Connor's about halfway through plugging in cables, I'm gonna say. Yeah. The 3.0 though is 
90 degree, but this little <laughs> cover thing is being very aggravated. Uh, it'll grommet, but... I just... There's gotta be a way they could've made that connector and cable better. Right. I just don't understand it. The 3.1 right. one's not... Or Type-C one's not that bad. And so you might have to buy... Uh, get a copy of Windows. I don't think I got it. Oh, okay, cool. Windows 10 Home? I can't remember which one goes with which. I have... Home and Pro over here. Oh, this is Home 64-bit English. That sounds like it's <laughs> and it was on the for that one. And it was on the desk. <laughs> for next week or this one? Or Friday? Find out. Find out? Okay. I'll just put it on this machine. <laughs> it's on the website. It should be. It should be? Like, if it has Windows or not? Or what? Which type, yes. Uh, nope. Well, I can tell you. It's not on the parts list. Okay. Okay. I wanna, we should build one where we install Linux. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> you can handle all of that. I do use Linux. I know how to use Linux. Installing Linux actually isn't that bad. I have two In web servers reality. that run Debian. Those of you that you don't know. Handle, okay. You need to handle all, all of the support questions. All There's the emails. That's the thing with Linux. There's no support. <laughs> yeah, try, try telling a client that. If they're requesting a Linux workstation, they probably know how to use Linux. I would hope that they know how to use Linux. <laughs> Uh, Linux is another kind of operating system for those of you that do not yep. know. It's actually it predates Windows. Yep, um, it's uh, completely user supported. Uh, not entirely true. So things like Red Hat, um, oh, well, yeah, Fedora, distros. Fedora is made by Red Hat. Um, it is which it is based on the Linux kernel, but that started a long time ago and they built a lot off it. Um, and so where you can install Red Hat for free. Uh, but where they make all their money is from enterprise support. Mm -hmm. So if you want to run your servers on Fedora, you're paying them thousands and thousands of dollars a year just for support on that. Because they're literally the only ones. Yep, but you can, well, they build and maintain it, but yeah. yeah. You can download it for free, but if you have any issues, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Stack Overflow, you go. Uh, but yeah. There are some good Linux distros now. Even if you're doing something like gaming, uh, Manjaro is a good one. They have up-to-date NVIDIA drivers. They have Steam pre-installed, all that sort of stuff. And you can actually run a lot of Steam games with on Linux now with uh, Valve Proton. Fun fact. Valve Proton? Yeah, so it's it's sort of like a, it's not an emulator. It's like an abstraction layer where it allows your computer on Linux to run these Steam games that were traditionally only officially supported on Windows. I'm talking loud because Chris is moving boxes. Yeah, if, if you hear stuff in the background, Chris is like disassembling the office as we speak. Can't hear that. <laughs> oh, we can hear that, and I guarantee you they can too. It's also just funny to make fun of Chris. Um, yeah. But yeah, you can actually run a lot of Steam games on Linux now. So Manjaro is good. Um, Ubuntu is kind of like the community classic. Ubuntu is the absolute. Although classic. some some people will tell you it's not as good. They don't have as updated programs and drivers usually, but the community base is huge. So we got that going for it, but CentOS is popular for servers. It's kind of gross, so I don't like it. But yeah, just do a Linux lesson today. Yep, and these are just all different distributions. distributions. Yes. Which and are basically, a, best, a good way to describe it is kind of like a skin. Different uh, skins. Uh, that, that's more like a desktop environment. So distributions are, they all take that same Linux kernel. And so the kernel is what lets your your hardware and the software like kind of interact. It's almost like a driver. It's below the driver layer. Um, but they all take that Linux kernel and they go in different directions with it. But at the end of the day, it's pretty much all Linux, just slightly different command syntax. You'll find some programs that work on CentOS, but not Debian-based, which Ubuntu is Debian-based. So it's Manjaro. You just lost half. I know. I'm just rambling. <laughs> I'm rambling because I've been sitting here for a while and I have nothing to do. But that's fair. I'm almost done. Yeah, you're concentrating, so I'm not making you talk. I'm actually like li straight up almost done. Just now. maybe they learned something today. Yeah, maybe drop this a like if you learned. <laughs> yeah, so my, to it. Some, some people are just gonna now go down the rabbit hole of just googling. No, they're not. <laughs> yeah, you can still run Linux off a USB drive too. Yes, you can. Just live boot it. It's easier than doing it on Windows. Yes, again, it's a very lightweight program. We're still at 36. Uh, hey. What's up? Oh. Can I subscribe on the stream? You see? I'm not logged in. 
<laughs> I'll just come make a new account if wait. No, YouTube might be in us. Never mind. Yeah, that would be a that'd be a no no. You can look on your phone. Huh? You can take a channel on your phone. I think I'm already subscribed. You're not. There are a lot of cables on the computer. Am I subscribed? We have a lot more cables now that we're using uh, an actual hard drive. Yeah. Matt throws yeah, a wrench in. I'm already subscribed. Sorry. On oh, my YouTube Premium account. That's oh. got to boost a little bit, right? Yeah, okay. It does. It gives you more sense per view if you're a, if you're a partner or whatever. Whatever it is. Monetized. We're not monetized. You have to be monetized. You have to have like a thousand followers to do that. Yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, but when we get there, my views are worth like four times a normal person's. <laughs> yeah, but uh, what about all the other paid accounts? <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm pretty sure I ran every cable you needed this week the first time. Yeah. Although I was looking to see if it had a uh, PCI Express where it was only like one eight pin, and it does not. You just have to run the dually. Yeah, do you? Yeah. Corsair didn't give us. Corsair wasn't. We're gonna check stuff. again, but yeah. you're gonna find it. You're gonna be like, wait. Dual, yeah, there's more dualies in here. There's no single. Take it out. We gotta partner with Cable Mod. Right. That'd be sick. Need custom Cable Mod dualies. When I went to Micro Center, they had a uh, cable mod there for sale. Like the extension kits? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could buy those actually on Amazon. And they also had, they only had like two of them. It was that RGB 24 pin extension. The Lee and Lee one? Yes. They had one that was an open box. I was so close to buying it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the good old Lee and Lee. How bright can we make this computer? What's that case they have with the uh, infinity glass on the front panel? That wasn't the O11, was it? No. The, the iPad power has their smoke line. No, no, that's a that's that's got a screen on the case. Oh. It's different. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the one where you look. It has like an, an RGB strip around the front, but then it's infinity glass. It looks like it's an infinite tunnel. I think it's actually an Asus. No, it's got to be Lean. No, Lean Lee is Lee, So Lean Lee, Asus, these are all. Uh, Companies that create cases and many other things along the lines as yeah. well. Asus makes a lot of stuff. Asus makes every component, I think. <laughs> except like Corsair. Except like SSDs. Corsair. The only thing is the Corsair does make motherboards. Is motherboards. SS. No, they make SSDs. Processors um. and video cards. Yeah. They make yeah. everything. Else. They do have an air cooler now, even though it's not good. A five hundred. I was hoping it would be good. It's not. Yeah. Did you actually use conditioner? Someone brought it back up in chat. <laughs> do you oh, just? That would be now you have to be honest with the with the fans. I do not actually use conditioner. There you have it, folks. He's so, a uh, yep. There, it's Who exposed. Who did it? Chris Johnson. Yeah. See. That's our Chris. Is that Chris? Chris. Oh, that's our Chris. Okay. Yeah. Ask him if he's got a bacon eater. I bet he owns conditioner. He looks like he's like a, kind of a Barbie guy. He definitely owns conditioner. <laughs> also, Ken? Yeah, Ken. Okay. You're just waiting for the comments now? Yeah, I'm just you? roasting them. Hey, can I have the little snipper dudes that you're playing with? Yeah. That would be exceptionally helpful. All of this. <laughs> <laughs> so when I went back back into New Mexico, you can't take any sort of scented like hygiene stuff. Um, so what you do, and we only got two showers in two weeks anyway, but that's a different story. <laughs> but what you got was this little bottle from REI that has scentless like shampoo slash body wash in it, and it's made specifically for this backpacking because it won't attract any bears with its scent or lack thereof. But I mean, the the end result was that it did like nothing. It basically, between. yeah. I see that. So we smelled bad for a while there. Two showers in two weeks while backpacking in New Mexico in 100 degree heat, carrying 40 pounds. Woo! Cables are. Yeah. All right, so I get this all graphics card after you take the slots out because I'm making the one slot. Yeah, slot. 
slot. This card has three display ports, and I'm guessing those will be display port. Oh, God, I'm gonna mess this up. Display port 1.4. Is that the most recent one? Oh, that's a heavy case. So those those ports will support at least 4K 60 Hertz output on each of them. And it also has a USB-C, which I think is for their uh, VR Link stuff. But yeah, let's see if I can. I think they actually got rid of VR Link on the. Uh... There's still a USB-C on here. It's not a video output. I don't know. Because you can only do a max of three outputs on these. But anyway, let's slot this in after I do the PCI Express lock. The screw's in the middle, by the way. The screw's in the middle. Okay. Middle of, the, uh, middle of the table. I was looking in the middle of the case. <laughs> I was trying to turn this at an angle where they might see it, but it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's probably not. Right. We'll clean up a little bit of the area. It's clean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just throw everything on the ground and make Chris stay and clean it up. Yeah. Uh, Chris <laughs> doesn't do anything during the day anyway, so. <laughs> the look that I just got. <laughs> There goes Connor's paying for me. <laughs> for the year. For the year. Oh, you sat on time. Oh, it's a Sounds like free labor to me. No, not in the state That's of That's a different Carolina. discussion that we're not going to have right now. <laughs> free labor. Somebody came not... an angry face on Facebook feed. <laughs> Did they really? <laughs> Somebody gave a little angry face. What was it? <laughs> Call him out, name and shame. No. <laughs> I'm gonna start YouTube it's gonna be Chris. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. So yes, we have two Chris's in the company of five people. Uh, it makes things extraordinarily confusing. Is it five? Yes, Chris. Four. Five. Uh, I was counting Will, but Will's still not here. No, Will is. Will's really not here. So the four people. Will's forever in our hearts. <laughs> We, that's what we need, Chris. We need a, a fat head of Will. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't need a fat head. Will's already got a fat head. It's <laughs> exactly what we need. We just need a so, fat head of Will just to be here. So, so the these... average watch time is 22, is nearly 23 minutes. That's good, considering that we're basically done, and it's been 55 minutes since we really started. Because we had that about five minute wait time, or uh, staging time, I should say. 50 minutes, yeah. Yeah. So they went about half of it. Yeah. It's not too shabby. So was that, uh, did you plug in the drive? Yep. All right. So I think that's everything. Are you ready for a test move? Oh, yeah. We got a, here, I'll do it on my, do you want to do it yourself? Uh, yeah. Okay. Just drop it. Are all the fans good? Because no. last time there was a fan. Drive. Probably not. Well, we're going to find out. I have it plugged into the, or the fan hub, so it's gonna be this back one if it's not gonna spin. Also, are we actually in frame, Chris? Yes. Oh, uh, well, no. I, I, is the computer in yes. frame? Let me go back to yeah, two, and two. Yes. No. Yes. We're good. No. Yep, we're good. good. Perfect. And yep. Uh, and up. Uh, and yep. That back fan is. <laughs> it's just plugged into this into the hub, and I think you have to have the. The hub like kicked on for it to do it. Huh. Sorry. It's just memory training. Just give it a second. That was actually a hard cut. Huh. <laughs> Alright. Now check the 24 pin and 8 pins. Yeah, there's something that's not happy. I bet you it's the, the pins up there. Oh, uh, probably. They're probably not in all the way. So now we get to continue this. Now we get to say troubleshoot. What did Connor not plug in? I bet it's like something that got unplugged slightly when you're cable managing. That's uh, yeah, what yeah, usually is. that's usually what happens. Uh, it's the fun part of building. Yeah, it really is. Get one tiny gold pin not connected. Just somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Double checked all the pins. Hmm. It wants to. 
it's tripping because there's a a pin out somewhere. Yeah, really. I'm pretty sure they're all in on the power supply, but yeah. Huh. Yeah. Shame on Connor. I know. Bet you that was it. What was it? Oh, one of the um, SATA powers. It was weird. Oh. Nope. No. All right. Well, I'm going to say let's end this. <laughs> yeah. And then we are going and to. It is technically built. <laughs> it is built. Uh, no, we're going to troubleshoot off camera. Uh, and then if you guys want to see the photos of this wonderful computer turned on, uh, you can follow us on Facebook where we'll be posting all of the photos as well as on our website at Top Flight Computers or Top Flight PC. Top Flight PC. Top Flight PC. Or is it also where you can go if you're interested in getting a system like that or checking out some of our other builds we've done before? We do primarily workstation gaming computers, but uh, we can do anything to those, including custom liquid cooler in our mineral oil. Just kidding, we don't do that. <laughs> we do not do <laughs> mineral oil. <laughs> and nor should anyone. But yeah, check us out social media, like you said. And, yeah. uh, Thank good. you guys for watching. We will see you on Friday. <laughs>